Welcome to Infi Minutes. In this video clip, we will discuss the factors that affect the choice of intermediate frequency. We have seen that the value of IF that is chosen is 455 kilohertz. Now, why IF uh, is 455 kilohertz and IF is not very large value or not very small value is something that we want to discuss in this particular clip. The intermediate frequency of a receiving system is usually compromised since there are reasons why it should be neither low nor high nor in a certain range between the two. Let us discuss the major factors influencing the choice of the intermediate frequency in a particular receiver system. The very first point is related to the poor selectivity and poor adjacent channel. We see that if IF, if the intermediate frequency is too high, then the receiver will have poor selectivity and poor adjacent channel rejection. This is simply because we had seen that the bandwidth of the LC tank circuit is given as FR by Q, where FR is nothing but the station frequency to which the receiver will be tuned. But this is only the case of the bandpass filters which are centered around the station frequency and that is the case of bandpass filters before the mixer stage. After the mixer stage, the station frequency of FS is down converted to IF. And hence, if I write down the bandwidth of all the bandpass filters after the mixer stage, their center frequency will be IF and hence the bandwidth will be IF by Q. So if IF is too large, then the bandwidth will also be large. To achieve very small bandwidth or precise bandwidth of 2FM with large value of IF, the value of Q needs to be also very high. It becomes very difficult to achieve very high Q at large frequencies and hence at large frequency the bandwidth of the filter tend to increase. So if that happens, then you can see that even though the filter is centered around IF, because its bandwidth is very large, it will allow all the unwanted signal components to enter into the receiver. So from the output of the mixer stage, the rest of the receiver will pick up all the unwanted signals apart from this desired range of frequencies which forms the bandwidth of twice FM. And hence adjacent channel rejection will be very difficult. Let us say there is some unwanted signal uh, entered from the input side of the receiver. It will remain in the receiver. It will not be uh, rejected by the receiver because after the mixer stage, every bandpass filter will be having large bandwidth because of large value of IF. So we do not prefer the value of IF which is too high. If the value of IF is too high, then the receiver stability is also poor. That is because if you remember the discussion on drawbacks of TRF receiver, we had said that because the entire receiver operates at the same station frequency, which is the carrier frequency, for higher station frequencies, all the stray capacitances in the various circuits of the receiver will be very much active. And because the overall gain of any receiver is very large, with very high gain, with all these stray capacitances being active, there may exist a feedback path. And if this feedback happens to be positive feedback, then the combination of positive feedback and high gain will make amplifier or any other circuit start oscillating. And once that happens, my signal of interest is lost in that particular block, uh, which has uh, turned into the oscillator. So the stability gets affected if the frequency of operation is very high. Because of this reason, we had down converted all the station frequencies to IF and we wanted to make sure that IF is not too high so that the stability of the receiver improves. And hence the choice of IF cannot be too high again of uh, this time for the reason that we want to keep stability uh, to maximum uh, amount possible in super heterodyne receiver. Next factor that affects the choice of IF is the image frequency rejection. We had made this point already in one of the previous clips that the image frequency rejection is better only when the gap between FSI which is the image frequency and FS is very large. And I can make the gap between FSI and FS very large by only having large values of IF. 
So if IF is too low, then the gap between FSI and FS will reduce. This will uh, reduce the value of rho and this will further reduce the value of alpha. In other words, FSI and FS will be close to each other so that whenever the receiver is tuned to FS, there are good chances that FSI will also enter into the receiver and it will be difficult to remove it uh, from the receiver once it reaches the mixer stage. Hence, IF should not be too low to keep the image frequency out of the receiver.